Hey guys, it's been uh, 48 hours since we pitched our yeast. Now I'll tell you why it's been 48 hours is because it's taken a little bit longer to ferment than I'd originally expected. And thinking back now is because I'd had the temperature, uh, it's a little bit cold in my house at the moment, um, and so it was running about 18 degrees rather than the optimum 25 as they say. So it's come in, come on in James, have a look. It's got down to 1.000 on the hydrometer. Um, and so we're now ready to move on to the next step. And so, come on in James, have a quick look at this. This is what it looks like in there. It's not really very appetizing, but we're not gonna be using it to drink. Um, because of the speed of the fermentation and the activeness of the yeast, there's a lot of carbon dioxide uh, dissolved in the sugar wash. So we're just gonna give it a good stir. Not to incorporate air, but to try and knock that carbon dioxide out. So give it a quick stir uh, for a couple of minutes, nice and gently, but vigorously. So not to whack air into it, but to whack the carbon dioxide out. Now we've degassed it. I'm gonna use some finings to quickly clear it. And here we've got a couple of sachets. And so I'm gonna add the first sachet in. And this is just our basic wine finings, but I know it looks in a different packet, but it is our basic wine finings. And that goes in packet number one. We give that a stir, mix it all around. back in an hour. It's been an hour since we added our first packet of finings and as you can see it's done absolutely nothing yet. So our second pack of finings goes in now and I know it doesn't look a lot but it'll be amazing how much and what this does so quickly. So that goes in, we give it a good stir, mix it all together lid back on and now leave that for 24 hours we'll come back and it should be a lot 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 cleaner 